In this segment, I'm going to take a look at using the Embroidery Gallery tool. And that's found here on this toolbar, right beside the color chart and the resequence um, buttons. Now, Embroidery Gallery, I'm going to go ahead and click on this and turn it on. So it opens up this window, which gives us the ability to browse through a number of motifs that have been saved for use. And basically, Embroidery Gallery, I think of a little bit like a rubber stamp tool. Now, before I select one and start using it, I'm going to point out that right now we're looking at these as outlines, but if I click on this one, it will show me the images in true view. And I have the ability to show pictures or show details or show pictures with details. I guess in this case, the details is just the, the design number. So those are your different view options. In one way or another, you can browse through the different motifs that you have in your motive in your embroidery gallery, the different patterns, until you find one that you'd like to use. And so, you know, once you've got one selected, so I'll just browse through so you can see the list of different choices. And basically, this is like a little rubber stamping tool. So for example, if I choose something like this, say OK, you can see that it puts it um, onto my mouse. And it takes two clicks to use the tool. So the first click sets the motive down in place. And then the second set click is going to give you the rotation of what it's going to look like. So I'll click again. And you can see that it's set it down and it's it's basically finished. I could I could be um that embroidery motive has been set onto my screen. But I still have the tool on my mouse. It keeps going, so I could keep using this tool as many times as I want until I'm happy and, and I don't want to use it anymore. So like I said, it's sort of like a rubber stamp tool to me in a way. And every time I click, I just get another one. And it almost seems endless, like it won't go away. And what you need to do to let go of the tool, you need to use the escape key on your keyboard. And that lets it go. So let's do it again. Choose the embroidery gallery. Scroll through your embroidery gallery choices until you find the rubber stamp that you like to use. We'll go with this little dog. Choose OK. Click once to set them down. Choose the rotation. Click the second time to put them in place. So you can decide where are your doggies going to go. And when you're happy and you're done making doggies, you hit the escape key and let's go of the tool. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Um, you actually have the ability to create your own uh, motifs for use with the embroidery gallery. And I'll be showing later on in the video how you can create or make your own motif. And in that case, if you save your motif to your embroidery gallery um, collection, they'll come up in the menu when you select embroidery gallery. So that's your embroidery gallery. And like I said, I think of it as sort of like a little rubber stamping tool because it just keeps going. Um, you can use the tool over and over until you're done. And then when you hit escape, it's done. And just to maybe point out, these uh, motifs are actually groups of, of objects. So for example, if I select on this, this motif right here, here it is in my resequence toolbar, and, can I, and I can see that it's actually made up of a series of embroidery objects that create that motif. And so, not that that really matters for using it, but I just thought I would point that out because um, a motif doesn't necessarily have to be a single object. It could be a group of objects. And so when we talk later about creating motifs, if you want to create um, a small embroidery design that has three or four or five or six objects and then select them all and create those into a motif, then you can easily bring them and just add them to your designs again. So I think the concept is if you've got a, an embroidery element that you find that you use often or on a regular basis, it makes sense to create it once and then save it as a motif so that you can use it again and again as part of your embroidery gallery. So this is where you find the embroidery gallery tool and that's how it works.